listeners now, Miss. You better your ticket. Yes, sir. You know, we can walk around the country. We have to watch the family. should be clear. Thank you. We want to go now. We can walk around the country. 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 We We want to recognize one of the people who just arrived. This one may come here, or they may come to add a road, now we're going to do one. This is the number one that's going to exist. The person who empowers the young people, right, we'll say you're welcome. We want to recognize, you know, the girl is still the top. Uh, the men went to the church, they all come and say, Oh, we need a baby, we need a baby, we need a baby. Honorable Senator Karen Bokla Wai Baho Yala. We want to recognize, you know, in every institution that you have female, uh, I don't care how you do the poor crime, the female will always kind of say, the material you have in will come with them. And this country, this country says or says as the head of this country, I think uh, we're not saying no noise, but whenever any noise around, she's always there to make sure that noise is going on control. That is impressive of Honorable, Honorable Superintendent, the ever present Superintendent, Esther Walker. We want to recognize the father, you know, the father of Ambassador Slaughter. We want to recognize him. We want to recognize the, the guest also that also came from the National Ambassador Council of the President Slaughter. We want to recognize you. And everyone else, we beg you if you forget it, everyone is captured in. Thank you. Please let's give our undivided attention to this program as we go on. Thank you. All right, thank you, Mr. John Oklahoma, for the recognition of guests. And uh, we also want to say welcome to the Lord Joshua and Matthew We are in your conference. And let's go. We call on uh, Mr. Thomas Ipponi for the introduction of the program. Oh, yes. We just walked. Why are we doing that? We have a brief selection by. I want to see you for the short time before the speaker. I have been said by the by Mr. John Fulmer, who did the recognition of the guest. On this note, today is marking one of the best days in Liberia. That is the declaration of Ambassador London to the mighty Congress for Democratic Change. I said, Mate, we got my word. Since this year, I tell a legacy this year. So it is very Mate. So today, we will have interview of music. We have statement from stakeholders. Our program, we have a lot of political statement. Because this is not church us. Politicians will be. We will have 
solo selection. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this is our program. Thank you. Yeah, movie with so no time. Well, you play for James Richard. CK had a brilliant offer, man. I think you listen to a song called Brilliant Hunter. And I'll be performing that song. And there are people that get a job for that job, a double job. And they want to leave it for another one. Let me just say that this thing. I'm a common citizen and typical citizen of both and we'll continue to say the truth, to we'll sensitize our people. It's better to stay where you are than to jump for so and so. So, Senator uh, Yala, DJ Playboy. This is the man who sang a brilliant wonder song in Bokan.
Yes, dear ladies and gentlemen, we've reached to uh, the core of the program, C O R E R E C A P, the core. I would like to invite to the podium a teacher, a politician, a humanitarian and an outstanding diplomat. One of the persons of this country and Liberia at large. A man who understands the inter working of Liberia politics and who is first, who also has first cafe shuffle. Ladies and gentlemen, platform press, with a standing ovation, I'd like to recognize the right on to the podium. Ambassador Jeremiah Kobeslote, the political leader of Professor Slotai, for an official declaration of membership to the mighty Congress for Democratic Change of the idea. Ambassador, welcome to the podium. I 
appreciate this decision in consultation with my family, the advisory council, and committed high-ranking members of the Friends of Salute. This was a very hard decision, but we are convinced that our national interest should supersede our personal interest. The second reason is to make ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Chairman and the officials of the Congress for Democratic Change and the Coalition for Democratic Change, I am very delighted to announce to you, to the people of Hong County and Liberia, that our lawyer and committed members of the Friends of Solante join me here today to officially and publicly declare our membership to the mighty Congress for Democratic Change.
and you citizens of Bon County are witnesses tonight. And that happened because the chiefs and elders would have preferred me to be running me to Ambassador Parker. The arbitrary dismissals were creating a dark cloud over Bon County, a fight that could put the county's interest in jeopardy. And so, in order to save the soul of our dear county, I resigned from the party to give a clear chance to the person that was so desperate to become a running mate to Ambassador Parker. And you know the rest of that story. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and my fellow compatriots, I later joined rank with the Alternative National Congress and contested as a vice presidential candidate. We lost that election, and my consolation would have been to drop my ego and find a safe landing in this House of Senate. Unfortunately, the collaborating political parties of which the ANC became a member does not subscribe to well-defined and structured democratic principles. Subsequently, while I was preparing for a primary to select the CPP candidate in Bone County, I was told that primary was not good for selecting the CPP candidate in Bone County. Even though primary was deemed necessary in Nipah and other counties. I thought that was a democratic moderate. Consequently, I had to I had no alternative but to unsubscribe my membership with the ANC. Fellow citizens, having given you the historicity of why I left my previous political home, we are convinced that the CDC is an institution of diversity and democracy. This is an institution for the young, the old, the educated, the uneducated, the fortunate, the unfortunate, as well as Zobos. Interestingly, this institution is predominated by the younger generation of our country on whom the future of our country depends. That is why there is a dire need to work with the youthful generation of our country, empathize with them, and nurture them in a way that they become responsible citizens and future leaders. Mr. Chairman and members of the CDC, we are coming to the CDC with no preconditions. Our coming is in... Our coming to the CDC is in response to national patriotic duty. It is not about satisfying our personal interests. For it is more about meeting the challenges of a national renewal than satisfying a personal ego. It is in the context of this commitment, Mr. Chairman and officials of the CDC, that we stood in this same auditorium and supported the CDC in 2017 presidential runoff, which you won. We did not do so in exchange for any political benefit. We did not support the CDC in 2017 because we won a job. But by the way, as I stand here today, even though I supported, I don't have a job. So I did not support you in this very hall because I want a job. We are coming to the CDC at a time when all is not milk and honey. We do not profess to have the answers to the many problems in our country today, but with the call from our president for all appearance to unite in the spirit of oneness for the forward march of our country, we have chosen to respond with compassion and commitment. It is in this light, my fellow compatriots, that I join the call to all Liberians to join forces in changing our narrative of politics and leadership in order to occasion a sense of development, equity, and prosperity. My third reason for today, fellow citizens, there is an old adage that when you plan to marry a woman who already has a child, you should and must consider 
that child as your child. You all know where I'm going now, right? Today, the case is with the CDC. As long as I have decided to get married to the CDC, any child that the CDC nourishes become my child. Mr. Chairman and partisans of the CDC, fellow Liberians, it is in this light that I now take this moment on behalf of the Friends of Solante to officially endorse the candidature of Senator Henry Willie Yala.
Make him put your hand down there. Okay, that one left person. The next one will be, if I sense it's a pump entity, we will call on the leadership of the party in Pump County to come and uh, give the t-shirt and the cap to our new partisan. Thank you. 